getting our ankles nice and strong and also working our calf muscles. So we're going to start in a parallel position. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Activate the hamstring butt connection points. <clears throat> Zip up through the pelvic floor. Make sure you've got equal pressure on all of your toes. And we're going to lift up. And down. And up. And down. Can you go back in please? And up. And down. Now keep squeezing those inner thighs together. Keep wrapping into the backs of the legs. Lifting up from your hamstring butt connection points. Keep zipping up through the pelvic floor. Keep squeezing those inner thighs. We've been working on this in rotation in the last couple of sessions. But now we can just think of the same wrapping happening, but we're in parallel. Do you want to feel those calf muscles come right up to the back of the leg? We're going for 30. Keep squeezing those inner thighs. Keep lifting up through the pelvic floor. Keep squeezing those hamstring butt connection points. How many have we done? 10. 10. 20 more. One. Two. Three. <coughs> four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Chelsea, you stop. Just give your calves a stretch out for a moment while we do these last ten. Two, three, four. Keep squeezing those inner thighs. Five. Keep wrapping into the back of the leg. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Into rotation. Slight rotation. This is not. This is, this is Pilates first position. So it's just a tiny little V that we're in. Squeeze the inner thighs. Wrap into the back of the leg. Zip up through the front. Lifting up one and two. Tuck your tails under three. So you want to think if your pelvis was like a bucket of water, keep your water in the bucket. Don't let it spill out the front. Four. Six. Six. Seven. <laughs> eight. Keep wrapping. Nine. Ten. Keep checking that your water's in your bucket. One. Two. Zip. Three. Four, five, <clears throat> six, seven. Keep squeezing those inner thighs and glutes. Ten, last. Nine. Ten. Last ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. We're nearly there. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Reach back, stretch your calf muscle out. <clears throat> At the same time, you can do a little gentle tuck under just to stretch your hip flexor. We've got a very intense abdominal series, new series coming up today that Mandy designed. I've never done it. I'm a little worried, but let's see how we go. You can all laugh at me. I'm going to probably cry throughout it. Chelsea knows that. Adam? Chelsea knows that. Changing legs. Tucking under. Stretching through the calf muscle. Stretching up into that hip flexor. Okay, we're going to come into a little... Um, facing your chair, you can face me or... I'm just going to do a side view for you. We're going to come down into a little plie position. The leg is going to go back. Then we're going to lift it. We're going to hold it up. And we're going to do three little lifts. Now the leg is in rotation. So the knee is out to the side. That's it, Ramon. The other leg is also in rotation. So we're in this shape. Okay. Then we're going to do three little lifts. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So you're lifting from your glute and your hamstring. The other leg, you are lifting up through your psoas on the leg that is supporting you. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here we keep on going. One, two, three. We're doing 20. One, two, three. What number are we on? It's 11. One, two, three. Eight more rounds. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, we should starting to feel those glutes starting to work. Two, three, keep sucking up through the psoas on that supporting leg. So keep on pulling up through your belly. Keep on using your pelvic floor. Whew. One, two, three. One, two, three. Last one. Last one, don't drop your leg to Three, hold it, 20, pops, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, coconutish. Changing legs. Little plie, both legs are in rotation. Take the leg back. Lift the leg up gently. Rotate the knee more, Ramon. And a little lift. One, two, three. I am not interested in height of the leg. I'm interested that you can feel your butt working. One, two, three. Now keep lifting from the psoas on the supporting leg. One, two, three. So my body is tipped forward, two, three, but I'm lifting up from that psoas on that supporting leg. Three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, Three. How many have we done? This is eight. One. One second. Two. So we've got eight. Three. One. Two. Three. Seven. Seven to go. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Five more. And one. Two. Three. Those of you that did Thursday's class should be feeling Thursday's class right now in those glutes. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Last one. One, two, three. Don't drop 20 pops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Come away from the chair. Um, Anella, be careful of doing this, please. Elongate your backs out into a straight position. Gently go into this stretch. We've just pumped those hamstrings up. Looking forward with your head. Elongating the spine. Bending one knee. Ramon should drop his head, Matt. Ramon should drop his head. Or put his head facing down. Ramon, make sure you're looking directly to the floor. Changing direct, changing sides. Changing sides. Changing sides. And slowly coming back up to a standing position. Pushing the chairs aside just a little bit. Okay. So we're going to do some squatting. 
Um, Chelsea, this is the one that I don't, I can't go back any further, Mandy. Okay. <laughs> um, Chelsea, you're going to do a double leg squat. Everyone else, we're going to take a big step forward. The other leg is going to go back behind you. The foot is up on a demi point position. <clears throat> when you're dropping down in the squat, you want to make sure that this knee is aligned with this heel and this knee drops directly to the floor. Don't go all the way down to the floor. That is way too much strain on the knee. And if you do, you'll finish today's class and all of a sudden you'll start getting knee pain and it will be because you've dropped way too far down. Okay, so we're gonna go arms up into the air. Suck the bellies right back. Breath in, drop down. Breath out, lift up and squeeze this butt cheek. Breath in, drop down. Up, squeeze. Now suck the bellies right in. Suck that psoas in on that left hand side. If it's too much on your knees and you don't like it, do something like this. How many have we done? Eight, this is nine. Nine. Ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Changing sides. So always thinking about drawing that psoas into itself takes a whole lot of weight off of the body because the psoas will come in and do a lot of the support. Okay, the leg is back, arms are up. Breath in, drop down. Breath out, lift up and squeeze. And squeeze. Suck the bellies in, draw the pelvic floor up, squeeze. Nine more, nine. Eight. Seven, keep sucking that belly in. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Change sides. So, Charles, just to mix it up, you can do some holds and some maybe little bounces. We've got 15 more on each side. Big step forward. Arms up. Suck the pelvic floor in, draw the belly back, push forward into your hip flexors and drop down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it. Hold it in a position that you can hold. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 20 more seconds. 1. Two, three, four, keep sucking. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Changing sides, very good. Make sure that foot is further forward than the knee. Arms up, bellies in, pelvis tucks under, squeeze this glute, breath in, drop down and lift one. Breath out, lift two, three, four, use your abs, use your pelvic floor, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten, five more, five, four, three, two, one. Hold down in a position that is comfortable for your knee. 30 second hold. Five, four, three, two, one. 20 more seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Keep pushing into the hip flexors. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ouch. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. Holding onto your chairs, giving yourself a quadricep stretch. Hold onto the back of the leg, tuck the pelvis under. Your ITB is tight too. So, you, and, and yes, you can see, so if you look at my leg, you can see that my IT, ba I, my IT band is tight. When your leg is doing that, naturally, you need to roll your IT bands out on a bolster. You want to try and bring that in closer towards the other knee without forcing it. Five, four, three, two, one. Changing legs. Draw the knee closer towards the other knee without forcing. Tuck the pelvis under. Holding five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Okay, let's do some arm work. So get in your chairs. Is that position okay, Mandy? Yeah, a little bit further back is good. Alright, so we're going to start with our biceps. We're doing all three positions of the biceps. Everyone ready? Here we go. Okay, so when we do the bicep, we want to make sure that we don't just flap the bicep up. That we want to think about the contraction starting from the bottom all the way down to the top, all the way up to the top. Keep sitting up nice and straight on your sitting bones. Four, five, six. Keep squeezing your pelvic floor, seven. So it's a great space to feel the pelvic floor when you're sitting on the chair. You can feel your sit bones, just squeeze it together in between those sit bones without squeezing your glutes and then you've got all of your pelvic floor active. teaching it. One. It's better than open thoracic stretch. Mandy's saying it's better than doing an open thoracic stretch. I do not agree. Arms out to the side. Shoulder blades down your back. Contract your serratus anterior. Bending in all the way. One. Two. Three. If Ramon feels this in his neck, he needs to drop his elbows. Four. 
Mandy's saying, Ramon, if you feel this in your neck, drop your elbows down a little bit. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Don't forget about that pelvic floor. Nine. Ten. Twenty more. And one. If you feel your elbows clicking as well, that's just the little tendons just popping over each other. Fifteen more. Last ten and ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two and one hold them out there so julie you've got no weight so you'll be able to feel this in a really nice way pop all the muscles up and flex them little pops one two three four five six seven eight nine palms facing each other esmeralda one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Have a small rest. Roll the shoulders. We have one more part of the bicep to go. Um, Julie, if you don't want to do this one like this, you can always do the, rather than doing it like this with the band, change the angle and go into like a hammer position. Okay, arms out in front of you. We keep working the shoulders, we keep working the biceps. This time though, we're going to stop on the half angle. So we're going to do the, 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 the bottom of the bicep. Two. Three. Four, five, keep working your pelvic floor, six, seven, make sure your feet are directly out under your knees, Arangsha, ten, ten, twenty more, one, two, check that you're not leaning back, that your body's straight, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, small rest, palms up, palms away from, uh, palms facing your face, little presses up, flex the biceps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, a little bit more narrow with the elbows, Carolina and Anella. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ouch, nine, ten, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. <laughs> what should one do if one's neck is and, and traps here is really is really just not happy with these today um we're don't about use any weight don't use weights okay think flex. of think of the flex just flex with the muscle you can do air all of this without weights 
Okay, we're about to go on and, to the... And lower your elbows. We're, we're not, we're not, we're finished with the biceps now. Okay. So maybe try this without weights, um, uh, um, Esme, and really try and just activate all the muscles on your own. All right, arms up. Here we go, pec squeeze, lift, press, and back and squeeze open press pull down from the back and squeeze open press down from the back and squeeze open press down from your backs and squeeze open press Pulling down from the back and squeeze. Open. Press up. Pull down from the back and squeeze. It's actually quite lovely to do it without weights. You're still defining the, the muscle. You can contract it in a slightly different way because you're having to contract it without the weight. Lift and squeeze make sure when you're pulling down from here when we come down make sure you pull from your lats and your serratus anteriors and squeeze open push up pull down from the back and squeeze open push up pull down from the back keep checking that you're not leaning back in your chairs that's it Ramon good push up pull down from the back and squeeze Open, push up, down from the back and squeeze. How many are you doing? Open, 30. How many have we done? 15. Halfway there, squeeze. Open, push up, down from the back and squeeze. Open, push up, down from the back. We're nearly there, squeeze. Open, push up, pull down from the back and squeeze open push up down from the back squeeze open up down from the back squeeze open up how many have we done nine to go nine to go yeah geez up down from the back eight more we're nearly there open push up down from the back squeeze open up down from the back squeeze open push up down from the back on the home stretch squeeze open up down from the back last couple open up down from the back is that the last one no <laughs> oh god we just keep on going Last two. Last two. Squeeze. Open. Up. Down from the back. Last one. Open. Up. Down from the back. Resting your shoulders. Turning your heads on a slight angle. That was way better than with weights. I actually was more painful for me. Yeah, I like working without weights. The other thing you can do is change your eye gaze to the floor. And that will relieve your neck as well. Okay, so we're going to look. So you're going to look uh, on the angle, and then you're going to take your head down as if you're going to try and smell your own armpit. Then you're going to take your hand to the crown of your head. Ramon, maybe you don't do this yeah, one. Please. Actually, you just uh, just put up with not having a stretch. I can just look to the floor. So we're just going to gently pull on our head. So Ramon, you could do maybe a gentle stretch, just looking down, but don't pull. I'm just going to hold that five, four, three, two, one. Come back to the center, gently. Just allow your neck to settle back into its place. Turning, taking your head down as if you're going to smell your own armpit. Taking your hand onto your skull and gently pulling down. If Ramon just looks down and thinks of the opposite shoulder drawing down, he'll get the stretch. Holding five, four, three, two, one. 
We have got a tricep dip to go, but I just want to do, just let your arms rest for a moment. Take this leg up and over. Make sure that it's comfortable on your leg. So I put, I put this part of my foot there so the bone isn't digging into my leg. Lift up out of your backs. Reach forward, so we're going to stretch your glute. You can rest your elbow on your leg, rest your other elbow on your foot. And just allow that glute and that lower back to stretch out. Steph, how does this one feel on your back when you do this? Is it okay? Jade, how does this feel on your lower back? Okay. Holding five, four, three, two, one. Changing legs. Elongate up through the spine. Leaning forward. Resting, putting some weight down on that leg. Also, those of you that did the Thursday class, you may be feeling this in your um, hips today a lot more because of the class that we did on Thursday. Holding five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna do some tricep dips. Um, those of you that don't wanna do tricep dips, you have got the option of doing with the weights. You can do your 30 extensions, your 30 presses, your 30 lifts and your 30 claps. Those of you that want to do the, the dips will do the dips. I'm just going to do straight up and down dips for 10. Those of you that feel a little bit stronger and, and are okay with the dips can do the 20, the 20 bounces and the 10 second hold. I myself will not do that. Ramon, do you think this is okay for Ramon? I, think, I don't think he should do it. It'll, it'll lock up his thoracic. Ramon, I think maybe don't do this one. Just <coughs> I think let, you should do the one standing up. Just let us, let us go through this one and you just have a rest. Okay. You could do it standing up. All right, so we're going to lift off. Now, you're going to roll your shoulders back, stick your bottoms out like you're sitting in a chair. Your palms are facing away from you. Breath in, drop down and lift. And down and lift. Down and lift. So Ramon, while you're waiting for us, you could do a pigeon stretch on the floor for your glutes. That's it. How many have we done? That's 10. 10, okay, those of you that want to, you do your 10 little bounces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and rest. Well done, all of you. Much stronger than me. I can't do the little pumps and the little holds. Have a small rest. Okay, here we go. Round two, lifting the bottom off, sticking the bottoms out and dropping down one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten. Second hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Just have a small rest. We have just one more round to go. Okay, here we go. Small rest. It's a Saturday class. Bottoms out and dropping down. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10 little pops and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10 seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, guys. Weights away, please. Okay, so we're going to do some push ups. We're going to have different variations. You can all choose what you want to do. I'm going to go against the wall because I hate doing push ups and I can't do them. And I don't want to embarrass myself showing you that I can't do them. So I'm opting for wall position. You can do normal push ups with the legs straight, or you can do on the knees. Whatever you prefer, they're your three options. On the knees, normal push-ups, or you come with me to the wall and we do it on the wall. The positions that we're going to do, we're going, with those of you that come to the wall, we're going to do 20 in parallel. We're gonna do 20 in turnout. Those of you that are doing it on the floor, you do as many as you can, keeping up with us. We're starting with tricep push-up. So the arms need to be Parallel. Then we're going to do wide normal push ups at 10 to 2. Okay, those of you that are coming to the wall, come to the wall with me. We're going to go on a rotative position. Ramon, I suggest you do it on the wall or you do it on your knees, not with legs straight. Okay, we start with parallel hands. You're going to bend, your hands need to be a little bit higher than your shoulders if you're on the wall. You're going to bend, drop to your forearms. And then you're going to come back up. One. And two. Three. So the elbows are coming right in by your side. Four. Five. Really focusing on those triceps. Six, seven. Those of you that are doing it on the floor, you do not have to do the full amount. Nine, ten. We've got ten more to go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Next round, wide position, hands at a 10 to two position, which now makes complete sense to me after going away and thinking about it. A little bit lower now. Hands level with your shoulders, using your back, bending all the way in, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, use your backs, eight, nine, ten, last ten and ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> And resting. Let's go get ourselves onto the mat. Grab, um, grab a pillow. To have a pillow handy. The thickest pillow you've got, if you can find one. Those of you that don't have any problems with your lower back, you don't need one. But those of you that do sometimes get sensitive in your lower back, you might want to use one at some point. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna do a little bit more glute work before we do this new abs series because it's getting those glutes nice and pumped up and strong that help keep that pelvis in the right place, which then helps the psoas stay in the right place, which then helps us do much more functional abdominal work. So we're gonna go down into the donkey position. Jade, if this doesn't work for you, you can just go into a pigeon stretch and rest. We're gonna do 15 on each side, so we'll take about two or three minutes. Okay, so donkey position. Make sure your necks are in a comfortable position. Your foot is flexed and your knee is starting level with your body. It is not coming underneath. It is starting level with the body. The foot lifts straight to the ceiling and you squeeze your glute as much as you can. You then bring it down to be level with the body. Breath out, lift. Breath out, lift. Out lift. Now as that leg comes back down, it stops at hip height. Up lift. Squeeze. Ten more. Up lift and squeeze that glute. Nine. Now you can also start thinking of your abdominals a little bit as you push up and squeeze. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back in, changing legs, lift the leg so it's level with the hip, flex the foot, make sure your neck is in a comfortable position, press up and squeeze. Bring the leg back down to a hip height. Breath up and squeeze. Don't lose your abs. Use them. Squeeze. As you extend up on this leg, and if you suck your belly back, you may feel also a sensation of the psoas contracting. And squeeze. And squeeze. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, resting down, coming down to a laying down position. If you've got a little pillow there, you can put the pillow there for your forehead. And I just want you all to watch what I don't want you to do with your neck. We're gonna do an on front lap, which is working the abs and the glutes. You guys can't see me properly, I've just realized. Sorry. When we lift off, don't do this with the neck. It's really important that the neck stays really long, that there's energy coming out through the head, that you open up through your collarbones, you pull back through your lats, you squeeze your glutes and you press back through your fingers. Don't do this. Okay, we're gonna start with a deep breath in. Breathe out, activate your abdominals and your pelvic floor to start with, squeeze your glutes. Lift off through your shoulders and your arms. Reach back through your fingers so you feel your triceps burning, looking straight to the floor. Breathing in, coming down. Breath in, breath out, abdominals, pelvic floor, glutes and lift. Chin in more Julia. Energy out through the crowns of the head, chin in more Paul. In, come back down. Breath out, abdominals, pelvic floor, squeeze your glutes and lift. Open those collarbones up, imagine how you would like to look if you were standing. This is the, the exercise that creates that perfect position. It's a real fundamental, important Pilates exercise there on front lap. Breath in, drop down. Breath out, abdominals and pelvic floor, 
Squeeze the glutes and lift. Hold, one, two, three. Breath in, come down, four more. Deep breath into your back. Breath out, abdominals and pelvic floor. Squeeze your glutes and lift. Hold it, one, two. Keep lifting your abs, Esme. Three, four, and down. Deep breath into your backs. Breath out, contract the abs, the pelvic floor. Keep the rib cages in, squeeze the glutes. Stretch those fingers, activate those triceps. That's it, Julia, beautiful. Two more, deep breath in. Breath out, abdominals, pelvic floor, lifting off. Hold, one, two, three, four. Last one, deep breath in. Breath out, abdominals, pelvic floor, glutes, lift off. Hold, one, two, three, and resting. Coming up to a seated position. Grab your pillows, those of you that think you might need it. I'm going to grab mine just in case. Okay. So this is the new ab series designed by Mandy. Let's see how I go with it. Okay. The first thing that we're going to do is you're going to make sure that you hold your legs. Okay. You're going to roll back off your sitting bones. Okay, I just demonstrated to start with. Then, once you know that you're in a comfortable position that you can hold, you're going to lift both legs off. Okay, so this is a lot of psoas, which is good for us, that the, those of us that have lower back problems, it's actually good for us because it activates the psoas. However, it can get tender through the back and that's where you're gonna put that pillow there if you need it. So once we get back in, all of the series, everything that we're going to do is from this position. Okay, we're going to start out slow and it's just going to keep on building and building, building. Make sure they take a breath out to lift because okay. you have to engage. Here we go, holding onto your legs. We start on the sitting bones. Roll off your sitting bones. Roll back. Take a breath in. Use your abs lift. Okay, now, we're not gonna move our backs, we're gonna drop our legs down, you can use your hands, breath in, drop down, breath out, lift. One. Two. Three. Four. My leg is moving slightly. Nine, ten. So I'm not just doing this. Don't worry, you're going to get another chance to do it again. We're not just doing this. The whole leg is going down and back. Down and back. Have a small rest. You will feel this. Okay, this is the end of the psoas that's starting to, to activate. We're going to do exactly the same, but we reverse the breath. Those of you that are feeling it in your back, now is the time you pop the pillow behind yourself and then you can rest back on that pillow a little bit. Okay, here we go. So we roll back off of our sitting bones. We sit back onto our sacrum. Take a breath in. Breath out and lift. Okay, now we're gonna do an in-breath to go down, in and up. You can see my legs are moving. In and up. My, up. my body is not moving. In and up. In and up. 
in and up. This is intense. In and up. In oof, and up. In and up. Try not to move your bodies, it's just your legs. In and up. In. Up. In. Rest. Up and rest. Whew. Next one is single legs, no? Or single taps? <coughs> single legs. Single taps, single extensions. Okay. All right, here we go. Roll back off your sitting bones. Find that comfortable position. Take a breath in. Breath out, lift. Breath in. Breath out, extend one. And in. Now, those of you that want the extra challenge, take your hands off. Those of you that are like me and need that little bit of extra support, hold your legs. And back. Breath out. And back. And out. And back. And out. And back. And out. And back. Seven more on each side. And out. This is four. And back. Six. This is five. Five. So you've got five to go on each side. So this is five of them. Five. And now we've got six. Six. I've got no idea. You tell me when to stop. Yeah. This is seven. Eight. Nine. No, this is nine. Nine. Ten. Oh. Rest. How's everyone going? Coping okay? Strong on those hip flexors. But that's okay. We'll stretch them out afterwards. Okay. Next one. I suggest anyone that's got a lower back problem supports themselves with their hands for this one. Those of you that are hardcore, you do exactly as you've just been doing. We're going to roll back off the sitting bones. Take a breath in. Breath out, lift up. Heels together, toes apart. Those of you with vulnerable backs, hold on. Those of you with not, pushing away frogs. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, okay. yeah, <laughs> eight, oh, nine, ten, rest. We're nearly finished this one. How long have I got? How long will we have been? We have for class. Uh, six minutes, five, five minutes. Five minutes. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, last one. We're going to extend one leg and you're going to hold it for five breaths. How many do we do of them? Well, we, well do you want to just do ten? What, five and five? Or do you want to do five, ten? five, five and five? Yeah. Okay. So we roll back off of our sitting bones. Take a breath in, breath out, lift. Extend one leg, arms off, hold. Five breaths, breath in, breath out and rest. Steph, you just rest if you need to. It's not essential that you do this. Breath in, breath out and rest. Breath in, breath out and rest. Hold your leg if you wanna do it, Steph, like me. Breath in. Breath out and breath, um, breath out and stay. Breath in, breath out and stay. Changing legs. 
Breath in, breath out and stay. In and stay. In and stay. In and stay. In and stay. Changing legs, breath in. Breath out and stay. In. Breath out and stay. In. Out and stay. In. Out and stay. Last one. Breath in. Breath out and stay. And switch. Breath in. Breath out and stay. And in. Out and stay. In, out, stay, last two, breath in, breath out and stay, last one, in, breath out and stay, very good, laying on your backs. <sighs> okay, so we're going to do a psoas release, but we're not going to do it with a stretch, we're going to do it with a contraction, pulling it into its most relaxed position, so you're going to hold on to one leg. Make sure the other leg is bent, yeah. Now squeeze down on your leg and either go to the outside or to the inside slightly to find that extra pinch inside where the psoas is. When you feel it at its strongest point, that's where you're gonna hold until it gets nice and warm. So we're gonna hold this for a good 90 seconds. We're just allowing the psoas to relax as we push down on the lowest part of it where it inserts into the leg. Allowing your lower backs to relax. Keep on breathing. Slowly bring the leg out, slowly, with respect to the fact you've just had a, you've just been pinching down on the end of the psoas. Elongate that leg all the way down to the floor. Wiggle your leg around a little bit. Changing legs. Take the other leg in, pull it in nice and tight until you feel a pinch inside the hip. Rotate it to the outside or to the inside, whatever you feel most. Keep on breathing. Is it 12 o'clock, Mandy? Uh, I've got a minute and a half, okay. Keep on breathing. Yeah, there's the bell. Gently release the leg. Respecting the psoas, elongating the leg out, wiggling that leg around a little bit. Okay, those of you that want to stay with me and do an open thoracic stretch, I'm going to do an open thoracic stretch. Those of you that have to go, you can go. So we're just going to lay on our sides. If you've got your pillow there, Ramon, I probably wouldn't do this one. I think maybe we won't do any twisting of the neck. So you're finished, Ramon. Knees up, level with your hips, please. Hands on top of each other. Press the hand forward. Now, as we open, we are not going to open from our lower back. We're going to open from our 12th rib. So we're going to rotate from that 12th rib which connects into the lumbar spine. And you're gonna keep on imagining that I'm standing where your lower back is so you get that lovely big stretch. Bringing that arm back over. Pressing the hand forward, allowing the thoracic spine to rotate, opening your arm up, stretching your pec muscle out, 
resisting with the lower back, rotating from the ribs. Bringing that arm back over, changing sides. So with the open thoracic stretch, you really want to make sure that those knees are level with your hips, like you're sitting in a chair. The difference between if you're doing the, if you've decided to do the chalk circles, the chalk circles, the legs are in a clam position. The thoracic stretch, we're up in this tabletop position. Pressing the hand forward, opening the arm up. If you're lucky, you'll get a little pop, a little crack in the back. Bringing the arm back over, pressing forward and opening. And we are all finished for our Saturday class of Pilates.